Hello YouTube, this is Tridar Yu-Gi-Oh! here with Connor Rourke, who's been featured on this channel a couple of times lately. He uh, got first place at Locals yesterday playing Shadal Dino. Now that Construct's back, he's a big fan of this deck, and he's going to show it off for us. So, go ahead. Right, cool. So we're going to start with the main deck. I believe it's 44 <laughs> cards, um, but it fluctuates. Uh, everything in this is the same from yesterday, except for my side deck's a little different, but I'll explain that when we get to that. Um, so, three Rhino, uh, just for your normal summons real quick. We got three uh, Raptor, not Rhino, and then three Sky Blaster. Um, yeah, shout out to Luke. Those are not mine. <laughs> but, um, you want six normal summons. Uh, I don't play Fossil Dig because I think it's a brick. Uh, once you see one of this card, you usually don't want to see more than one because your Dino Engine like runs out really quickly. Um, so you don't want to burn through it that quickly unless of course you have to. But uh, Sky Blast is really good, obviously, to get the Skull Dragon and fix your hands uh, if Phantasmate hasn't already. And uh, yeah, make Portal Sword and stuff like that. So those are your main normal summons. Okay. Uh, other stuff from Di for Dinos, uh, two of each big guy and then one Giant Rex. Uh, you play the Giant Rex not only because it's good with the Dino stuff, but it's also an Earth for checking Naga. Um, which can, which comes up. Uh, like my last round today, for example, I sent this uh, off Shadal Fusion and then to make the uh, pill that I hard drew live uh, to special that back out. So that was cool. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the dino stuff. Uh, I don't play a lot of like hand traps in this deck because I don't find it like super necessary right now. Because uh, in my locals, it doesn't have that much like Crusadia Guard Dragon and that stuff. But uh, I am playing three Valor and take a look. Take a look over here. Oh, is, is, what's that? Is one. Like? Yeah, is, there's one. <laughs> but he breaks against me, so it's okay. Um, so three Valor and two Ash. I feel Valor's better. Uh, and Luke also has my third Ash. <laughs> but, uh, That's a good reason. I do feel Valor is actually probably just better. Um, but what? they're they're good. Of our, uh, Salomon Great List from OCG. We're playing Valors oh, over Ashes. Yeah, so. okay. yeah I just Valors also not once per turn in Ashes. Uh, so that doesn't come up a whole lot, but it comes up every once in a great while. Uh, and three is Strudo because we're trying to be degenerate. As well with the uh, Mirror. Um, you'll see this card before you see this card. That's just kind of how Yu Gi Oh works. But <laughs> but uh, it's it's good. I, I don't have honestly a lot of complaints besides drawing this. But um, we play three of this because we're going blind second. So we main three Phantasme. Um, it just fixes your hands. The biggest problem this deck has by far uh, is bricking. Just you play a lot of cards that don't interact with each other well, just naturally, because that's just how the kind of shit all stuff works. Uh, with the dino stuff, like it, there's some synergy, but you just draw brick hands a lot, or not a lot, but you'll draw them. Trust me. So you play three Phantasmae because you're also going blind second. Yeah, everyone go play this deck. It bricks. Yeah, I mean, no, it does brick. That's that's the problem. It's a lot of high upside, but it bricks. Uh, so you have to play three Phantasmae uh, to fix your hands. It does it really well. Skull Dread does it well too. Um, but yeah, I, I probably wouldn't play it without this card. Uh, it's just really good, and this card's just good in general. Uh, and it does, does suck against like the decks that you run into, like Altergeist and stuff, but this deck has a really weak Altergeist matchup anyway, so you cite a lot of stuff for trap decks and stuff like that. Uh, and then we do play a small baby Chaos Dragon engine, uh, just 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I, I thought about playing more, and I'm actually kind of thinking about going down to one black, because uh, seeing these cards in multiples is really bad. Uh, but they've been okay. I, would, I, I wouldn't cut them, except for maybe one black. Uh, and then for the Shadals, we don't play very many, uh, mainly because they don't do a lot without the fusion, obviously. But I'm playing one Beast, one Falco, and one uh, Hedgehog. Uh, we're playing the Hedgehog because we play the Shakinaga in the extra deck, so you want to be able to send this and get the Beast or the Falco to the hand to make the Shakinaga alive. Um, Falco's... <laughs> Okay, uh, it is a little slow, obviously, but I still like it. Um, being able to summon a construct off of it again is really cool too. Uh, and then I play two one ofs. I guess I do play technically two more normal summons. Uh, but I never see either of them uh, in Armageddon Night Global. Uh, this is also just mainly because uh, it was an Earth target for Shaki Naga. Honestly, I threw it in here before I realized that Giant Rex was an Earth, uh, and I just kind of decided to keep it in here just for link extension and stuff like that. And Armageddon Knight sends like almost any card in your deck, so there's really no reason not to play. I also thought about playing Greffer, uh, but I already have seven normal summons technically, I guess, but uh, it's just it's never been something I needed. Uh, and the only thing you have that you really want to ditch off of it is Destruda. Uh, I guess you could ditch Fantasmia off it too, but that seems pretty bad. Uh, and then spells, 
Uh, I just played yeah, now, a, few, a few different 3 0s. <laughs> uh, you play Double Evolution, Double Evolution Pill. Um, I usually side one of these out because this card can break pretty bad. And again, obviously, you have a lot of ways to search it. Um, but yeah, that's S Pill. Uh, three Fusion. Um, you're obviously going blind second, so if you draw this card, you should be in a good spot. It's just it's really good. Uh, and you can also, one of my favorite interactions uh, with this card is you can send. For the, like for example, um, overtext for the shell monster, so then you get the shell effect and the overtext to trigger the pill. And since this is engraved, the pill will be live. So it's really cute that way. Uh, and then three alert. As I said, this deck does occasionally brick, um, so you want to just be able to clean your hands out. Uh, and then two one ups and foolish burial and reborn. Um, this probably doesn't even need to be in here. It's just kind of niche. Uh, but foolish is any card in your deck, so yeah, you definitely should play foolish. But that's the main deck, uh, more or less. Extra deck. <clears throat> uh, I'll play the Link Rebo for the, uh, what is it, the uh, Mare Mare. Uh, the Link Spider for the Phantasme, or not the Phantasme, the uh, Sky Blaster, yeah. Shout out to Duran for letting me borrow this one because I lost my ultimate. <laughs> no one in our locals owns any of the cards they play. Yeah, I own every it's, single it's true. Card. Uh, one Wii Witch. Um, this card never comes up, so I might change it for something else, but there's really nothing else I wanted to play. Uh, Cerberus, you obviously are going to play it because of Mare Mare. Uh, two Phoenix, I actually like Two Phoenix, I did actually use this twice today. Uh, well, I had once today where I used two of them. Um, Solomon Great's out now too, so this card has more uh, application, especially since everybody is playing the damn deck. Uh, and then one uh, Unicorn, because you're already playing the other Nightmares, and it's just good to sort of move some stuff you can't get rid of. Uh, one Skull Dread to fix your hand. I don't make this a ton. It's like once every once every three or four matches, probably, I make Skull Dread. But it's there. Uh, Boral Sword I make all the time. Boral Sword's kind of because, like I said, this you want to go blind second with this deck, so um, you make Boral Sword quite a bit. And then uh, fusions for the Shadows. Uh, play two Winda. Uh, you mainly just play Winda because, you, like I said, the Overtex interaction. Winda's also really actually pretty stupid right now on its own. Um, the limited special summons effect and the uh, can't be destroyed by card effects are actually both super relevant. Seems really good against Sky Striker. Um, seems really good against. Uh, Solomon Gray. Really Gray. All the danger decks. Uh, they have to make really awkward plays to get rid of it. Altergeist can get around it pretty easy, but I think it's the only deck. Yeah, and like I said, the Altergeist is already like a very poor matchup for you. Uh, one Shekinaga. Uh, I've only made this once. I made it today, and it was pretty good. But uh, one cool interaction that I have noticed uh, that I never noticed before was uh, Shekinaga is a level 10. I knew that, but uh, so is this card. So you can use uh, these two to make uh, Gustav Max uh, and burn them in time for 2000. Uh, so <laughs> that was one interaction I noticed. I actually wanted it today. Uh, I would have beat Nate sooner. So you're not playing the Gustav Max? I'm not playing the Gustav Max. I didn't actually notice the interaction until today when he pointed it out. But, uh, and then one Construct. Um, just yeah. for aggression and of course, yeah, we're going to play it. I really hope this goes back to three next list so you can play more pure shit all stuff. Uh, and then one XC and one Synchro. Uh, Dolka, I have not made this yet, honestly. Uh, there are some boards where like you should be making it, but it just it hasn't come up yet. It's usually off the Giant Rex, and like I said, I haven't seen the Rex a lot. Uh, and then the one Yazi for the... Uh, He's ever playing Dweller over this. Dweller is really strong right now. Uh, it's dangerous, Thunder Dragons, and Salomon Great. It's good, yeah. Uh, this is really good against the Danger Dex 2, though, because you get two negates, because it's not once per turn. Uh, you, you could play Dweller, though. I mean, like I said, it hasn't really come up. I just but, found myself making yeah. Dweller a lot today. But, uh, yeah, that, no, that's fair. Dweller's really good. Uh, it's just uh, changes that I, I do want to make. Um, you can probably cut this and this and you could yeah. probably play a Gustav Max and something else. I don't know what you would want to play. I've just never made this card yet. I've just never made it. Uh, and I do like the second Phoenix, but they're not mandatory. Uh, and then the side deck, uh, it's a little different than the one I had yesterday, but this is what I'm normally going for. Um, three sure mode uh, for the Guard Dragon Crusader deck that you do run into, uh, as well as the Danger Thunder Dragon deck, which I have a lot of in my local area. Um, you just you let them do their turn and then you just put that on the board. <laughs> uh, and three kaijus. Uh, Robbie told me that this card, these cards were insane against Solomon Great, so I cited one of each uh, of the lowest ones. Uh, and I cited in once. I only played against one Solomon Great uh, today. I think I played against one or two yesterday, but I haven't seen it yet in a situation where I wanted it. All it does is turn off the traps, which is yeah, kind of beats the deck. 
Yeah, I mean, it sounds good in theory, but I've never had it actually come over. Uh, and then two Pankratops. Uh, the cool thing about this card is you can actually, if you run out of targets, uh, you can summon it off Double Evolution Pill. Oh, uh, that's neat. And it's also obviously a dinosaur, so you can make Double Evolution Pill live. Um, so yeah, Pankratops is also just good in general. That also gives you an outs to uh, an Inspector Border if somebody at your locals is playing stupid crap like that. <laughs> uh, and then uh, two twin twins for Solomon Great, uh, Altergeist, stuff like that. Uh, and then, probably the card I want to change is Two Shared Ride. Uh, I put this in for Solomon Great, Striker, uh, and Crusadia, stuff like that. Is that about a but my impression set? I actually did. I did see somebody playing it the other day, and I thought that was cute. But um, Beckham was playing. I played Geist last weekend. My crush is pretty strong. It just yeah, it hits a lot right now for sure. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what this card is gonna be, but it's probably gonna get changed. And then uh, for evenly, um, I would play Red Reboot too because, like I said, this deck is just trying to go blind second and just win uh, that turn. But I have almost no trap decks in my local area, so there's. This is mainly just for Draco and stuff like that. Um, and Solomon Great is not good against because they have the counter trap. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I would definitely play reboot in this deck if you're like going to a regional or something like that. Because you will play against Altergeist or something like that. But yeah, that's the side I rolled with. Uh, like I said, these are probably going to get changed. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much it. Congratulations on your win and thanks for the deck. Thanks, sir.